Other time is 8.37. Ben Wishaw is one of Britain's busiest actors, having shot to fame playing Hamlet in Trevor Nunn's production at the Old Vic uh, four years ago. He went on to win rave reviews for his portrayal of a murderer in the film Perfume. And now he's taking on his first lead television role in a five-part thriller for BBC One. It starts tonight and mm. runs across the week, finishes on Friday. It's called Criminal Justice. And before we meet Ben, we're going to take a little clip of the programme. It starts tonight. Hello, Ben. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and it all goes downhill from oh there. It goes horribly wrong, doesn't it, Ben? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Basically, there is a death and you're implicated. Yeah, well, this um, night takes a sort of unexpected turn and um, the two of them get very drunk together. And um, Ben, the character I play, wakes up in the morning and mm. she's dead. And um, it's obvious immediately that it looks like he did it and he panics and runs away. And the reason it's called criminal justice is because it takes us through the whole criminal justice system yeah. it, throughout the whole week. Yeah. Yeah, he gets taken to prison and then gets caught up in this whole yeah. enormous So I'm just sorry, is it, each episode is an hour long, is it? Yeah. So five, that's five hours is a lot, to, a lot to play with, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it covers an awful lot of ground I think mm. it's it's a real exploration of prison and prison politics and prison life and mm. core did, politics. Did you do much re research for all that yourself? Um, I didn't really know because um, I figured that the character that I was playing didn't really know very much yeah. himself you know he gets kind of caught up in it. So it's a voyage and of discovery for you and for him? Yeah yeah it was. I think we've got a little clip when you're in the police station, okay. so let's have a little... For most of us, we never really have any contact with the criminal justice system. When, when you suddenly get stuck in it, it can be a pretty frightening place, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, even being in, on the sets that we were filming on was terrifying, really. Mm. There's something about the atmosphere and I suppose whether it's intentional or not, you're slightly made to feel like you're guilty even before <laughs> yeah. anything's yeah. been proven. And, and that's the real feel of the programme. Which I, I watched the programme last night. It, it is a very, really interesting programme, very interesting programme. But what you feel is, oh, it could be me, it, mm -hmm. could be, you know, it could be my son in that situation. It, it, it is a, it's really, really horrific to think. Exactly. That. I mean, we don't know, and I wouldn't want to give away what happens to you. Yeah. Um, and whether you're innocent or guilty, but the point is to be put in that in that situation must be terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, yeah. And um, I think, yeah, the programme demonstrates how easily, by a slip of fate, you could end up there. You know. Yeah. Mm. You've had an amazing uh, time over the past few years, really, because we mentioned the Hamlet that you did, and uh, you were in um, Perfume, of course, as mm -hmm. the lead, and Nathan Barlow, and all kinds of other stuff so you're on the crest of a pretty strong wave at the moment aren't you? Um, I guess yeah I've been pretty busy for the last year which is great. Um, <laughs> yeah. you see, you're so, so self-effacing and self-deprecating. Yes. Yeah. There's, we've got a clip actually of, of you, in fact not just a clip but an exclusive preview of Brideshead Revisited because you're playing Sebastian, Sebastian yeah. aren't yeah. you? Take a look at that. Really what a lot of temptations. There's the teddy. There's the teddy. You know, we were going through the whole trailer. I'm thinking, where's the teddy? Where's the teddy? You've got a teddy. Thank goodness for that. Yes. Did you watch the series before you did that? No, I didn't. And I only had a very dim knowledge of it in the first place because I think I would have been one or something when it was on. Oh, <laughs> you see, we lived through it. I know. Yeah. I've oh, seen it about four times, read about three <laughs> times. Actually, probably just as well because it means that you can mould your form, just create a completely new yeah. performance rather than thinking how does that compare with yeah. Anthony Andrews at the time. Yeah, I mean, I think we went back to the novel, really. and mm. Which is great. To see what was there was a wonderful fantastic. novel. Yeah. yeah. When's that coming out then? October, I think, here and... July. I think it opens in July in America. Yes. Yeah. How yes. exciting. Which is why they slipped the word vacation. Vacation in there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, only for the yeah. Americans. Nice to see you, Ben. Lovely to Criminal see you. Criminal Justice starts tonight, 9 o'clock, BBC One, doesn't it? That's and correct. And then it goes across the week. Every, every night for an hour. Every night. Nine, nine o'clock. Yeah. Lovely. Right, nice ben. to see you. Thanks nice to see much. you. Good luck with Brideshead. Thank you very much. Let's go. The weather now.